hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode here on european confessions the following story that you're going to be listening to it was sent to me by one of our sister who is a regular listener of our other channel so she sent to me a message and uh, this is her own confession the message that she sent to me reads like this hello my brother how are you can you please post my own story as hidden identity my brother i want to confess that i actually bewitched my own boyfriend but at that time he was already married me and this guy we had been friends for many many years this was way before he had gotten married to his new wife so me and this guy we used to stay at the same place so what happened was that me and this guy when we were staying when he was single and when i was single so many days i would go to his room cook for him and we would watch so many movies together but it never crossed my mind that me and him we can end up being in bed together because i treated him as if he was my brother and he treated me as if i was his own sister so since i was dating several guys if i would have a heartbreak i would go straight to him and i would tell him about these several heartbreaks that i would have gotten and he was doing the same thing to me so many years passed my brother until he got married and when he got married the woman that he got married to she was a little bit older than he was and i think that this woman because of her age she started to feel very jealous about me because this guy whenever you would be dating a new girlfriend he would actually lie to that girlfriend that i was his biological sister so when he got married to this uh, new girlfriend of his i thought that we were going to continue treating each other as brother and sister but this woman she was jealous of our friendship she felt as if maybe i wanted to steal her own husband but i had never fallen in love with this guy because if i had ever wanted to sleep with him i had the opportunity because there were many nights that i would be in his room until somewhere around 1 a.m just doing nothing just having a conversation but when she came around she started to control the guy the guy started to hate me and whenever they would fight because they used to fight almost on a daily basis and when they will be fighting then she will start to say that i know that you love this woman i know that she is the one who is telling you to mistreat me to treat me in such a way so i then spoke with her and i told her that i have no intentions whatsoever to date your own husband if i wanted to date your husband i could have done it a very long time ago but she was just a bitter woman so it reached a point whereby i said this woman i want to fix her so i had once heard about this other lady so this woman she is now pretending to be a white garment prophet but back home we knew very well that this woman she was once a witch and she had been chased away from the village where she was staying with her husband so i knew her story i looked for her phone numbers and i walked and i went and i spoke with her and i said that please can you assist me and she said well if you want me to bewitch this woman it is fine i am going to bewitch her but she told me that since i wanted her to help me i was supposed to pay a higher price so i ended up paying the hair for the day that i told her not to go to work because we were supposed to do these things during midweek and this woman back home in zim the story that happened for her to be chased out of that village where she was married it was said that one day she was caught and she was busy digging up this other grave people do not know what she wanted to do and when she was caught she pretended as if she was losing her mind that is when she was chased by her husband's relatives so now she is operating as a white garment prophet but i know that she is not a prophetess from god but she is a witch who is hiding behind this white garment prophet church so i then after i had saved the money i then went straight to her house when i went to her house she then told me that i was supposed to go to those somalian spaza shops i was supposed to buy you know that shaving stick and i was supposed to buy some eggs methylated spirit and some milk because these were the things that were needed for the rituals when i returned back to her room 
to my surprise she told me that i had to remove my underwear so i said it is fine i then removed my underwear and she told me to lie on top of her bed this was really weird and she told me to open up my legs as if i was about to give birth i did that and she said that i want to shave you so she wanted my pubic hair my brother i was really embarrassed another woman looking at my private parts and shaving me i had never done such a thing and i have and i had never heard of a woman shaving another woman's pubic hair so i refused at first and she said no do not worry because you want this thing to be done right you want this band right and i said yes i want this man i want to sleep with him and she said so allow me to shave your pubic hair so she opened my legs and she started to shave me and what she had done is that she had taken one of her duke and then when she had taken her duke she told me that i had to raise my buttocks a little bit and then i was sleeping on top of her duke so each and every time that she was shav shaving my pubic hair the pubic hair was falling on her duke she then took that duke that contained my pubic hair and she placed the pubic hair in this other small container and then she took the eggs and everything and she mixed them together and she started to wash my private part so she then told me that all of these items that were in that container i was supposed to look for a bigger bucket and after that i went and i bought you know there are those empty nine liter archer buckets that they sell here in south africa i went and i bought that bucket and she told me that i was supposed to cook for that man and after i would have cooked for that man he was going to fall in love with me so this is what i would do because each and every day this man when he would go to work i would be like walking behind him because in the location where we were staying if you wanted to go to town on foot you could actually walk for about 10 to 15 minutes but as for the wife each and every day she would go to work using the taxi so this guy what i will do is that since that prophetess had told me that the soil from where you would have walked was also needed i would walk right behind him and i would check to see if there was anyone that was watching me and then i will just trace the place where you would have walked then i will just pick up the soil for this was what was needed i did these rituals for three days and i was also told that i had to prepare some food and to give him the food that i would have cooked containing those items that the prophet had given to me so each and every day i would prepare a kaftan for him then i would follow him behind since me and him we were still good friends i would give him the food and i will say i apologize for everything that is going on in your marriage can you please take this food since he was used to the food that i used to cook for him he would take that lunch box so that he can go and eat the food at work and just like that prophet had told me on the third day that was when this man he started to speak with me on whatsapp i had already blocked him on his original whatsapp number the night that he spoke with me he used another number and i asked who was speaking with me and he said that it was him and i said what do you want he then said that he kept on thinking about me he wanted to spend some time with me and i was happy for this was what i was waiting for and then i told him that tomorrow i do not want you to go to work if you want to have sexual intercourse with me do not go to work tomorrow and he said that it is fine the next morning my brother i waited and i was actually opening my window just a little bit so that i can see if indeed he was not going to work i finally saw him it was him and his wife he was just going he was just taking his wife so that she can go and catch a taxi and when he returned back my heart started beating really fast for i wanted to sleep with him my brother he came and i slept with him throughout the day and i then returned back to that white garment prophet and we did more rituals so the problem that i am now facing is that i also used these rituals on another guy that i am now dating at the place where i am working so this guy is in love with me and he is promising to marry me but the problem is that this old friend of mine even though i slept with him but he kept 
he keeps on telling me that he is still in love with me he also wants to marry me so i do not know what am i supposed to do if there is anyone who can assist me because that lady who once assisted me she is no longer staying in the province where i am staying so i am asking for anyone who knows any charms that if i can give this old friend of mine who is now addicted to me if i give him then maybe he can vomit all the charms that i cooked for him because i do not love him i want this guy who is at least single who is promising to marry me i want to move on with my life the things that i did i did them out of anger but now i have healed and i want to move on with my life please assist me brother nashi oh dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by our dear sister strange things do happen in this world just imagine you another woman shaving you and then you use uh, the pubic hair to do these rituals guys you need to be careful this thing of uh, having a lady friend who cooks food for you one day you're going to cry strange things do happen in this world